everyone welcome back to my channel I am so excited for today because I have a new review for you guys it is on the Kathleen lights and Colourpop zodiac collection um, if you watched my will I buy it video I did talk about this collection and I did purchase the whole entire set I'm super super happy to be able to review this for you guys I was just so stoked about the whole entire thing so um, I did purchase it as a set which was $59. Now I know they did have the bundle where you got the PR package for 70, but in the end, I, I, I wanted it, but I just couldn't bring myself to spend some extra money for some packaging. So yeah, I had to be a little bit more practical. So I did just buy the set itself. Um, like I said, that was $59 or you could buy just the palette for 18. The lipsticks are $7 a piece. The Supernova shadows are $7 a piece and the highlighters are $8 a piece. So let's start with the eyeshadow palette. So this is the packaging right here. I think the packaging is so stunning. Oh my gosh. I love that they have um, the signs on the front and on the back along with the shadow names. I think the presentation of the packaging is just so gorgeous. I love it so, so much. Um, so when you open it up, just like the outside box, but a different color, it does have like a lighter blue um, to the palette itself. It has the signs on the front and signs on the back. It does have all of the shadow names on the back and on the front it says the Zodiac and Kathleen and ColourPop. Man, they knocked it out of the park with this. Now, this palette is super, super special because it does have a mirror. It is a nice full-size mirror. I can actually hold the palette and do my makeup with it. It's a good quality mirror, and I'm really, really excited that they put one in here. Um, and then these are your shadows. They are so stunning. The colors that she chose seriously represent each zodiac sign just the way that I would imagine them. And let's just say that Scorpio color, oh my God, it has to die for. Okay, I love it so much, so, so much. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go ahead and start with swatches on the palette, and then we will get into my review and my thoughts for everything. So before we do get started, if you are not already subscribed, please go ahead and hit that big red button before you go. I upload videos every Monday and Friday. However, I do wanna to note to you guys that this upcoming Friday, I will not have a video for you. I am taking my daughter to go see Taylor Swift for her very first concert, and I just really wanna concentrate on that. I really don't wanna to have to worry about anything else. However, I am going to try and vlog the experience and upload that for you sometime in the future. Um, but I just wanted to let you guys know. So no video this upcoming Friday. Now you can also follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter, and I will have those all linked down below for you guys. They're all the same handle, Cassie underscore S83. swatches and if you notice this one right here which is the Aquarius I did have to go over a couple times it did not swatch well um, on the first round but everything else was watched absolutely beautiful um, 
I think this is a stunning palette. This palette is amazing. Um, I've been able to work with every single shadow in here and I love every single shadow. I think they are so stunning. The only thing I do have to say is the Aquarius, you do have to layer on several times in order to get that certain pigmentation. Um, but it is that kind of periwinkle color. So I really don't know if it's maybe just hard to make. Um, but you're going to need more than like one swipe. I had to apply several layers just to get the pigment that I do have on my eyes at the moment. Um, the Capricorn, you know, it has that little micro glitter in there that anytime that you sweep it around with your brush, it's just going to disappear. So I really don't understand why brands do that. Other than that, I think it's a nice black to work with. Um, but yeah, every single shade is so stunning. I actually have the palette on my eyes today. So I have the Taurus, the Aries, the Leo, and the Aquarius on my eyes today. Um, I do have that, have this and my as my transition shade. This is my crease color. Um, the Aries was my lid color and the Leo was the center of my lid. And I really do like how this look turned out. Like I said, the only struggle I had was just the Aquarius, just kind of building and building and building. But other than that, it is a beautiful palette. It's definitely worth the money. I highly, highly recommend this palette. Like if this is all you want from the collection, go ahead and get it because it is beautiful. All right, so let's move on to the Supernova Shadows. So I do have both. They are called Constellation and Astrology. So the packaging, once again, is just so stunning. All right, so the gold one is Astrology. We're gonna swatch that. Can you see that right there? Oh my gosh, it's so bright, right? And then this one is um, Constellation. This one really caught my eye, even more so than the gold. And I thought the gold was beautiful, but this one is just <sighs> breathtaking. You see that? Oh my gosh, so gorgeous. Okay, so my thoughts on these is, you can pass. You can pass on these. Um, anytime I use like Stila glitters on my eyes, I can kind of, pat it down around the edges to blend it into the shadow that I have. That is not the case with these. Anytime I tried to blend these out with my finger, it completely came up off my eye. I literally had to apply this one six times um, to try and get it to blend in with the other shadows. And it just wasn't happening. Every time my finger touched it, even if I let it dry for a few minutes, it still came up off the eye anytime my finger touched it. So I did not like that. I tried to blend it with a brush and it just was not working for me. I even went in with one of my more rougher eye brushes and I still could not get it to blend the way I wanted it to. This one worked a little bit better, um, but I was still having kind of the same issue. So I will be more than likely using these as liners. Um, I did try them as liners. I used like my little angled brush. I dipped onto it and I applied it on my eye and I think it's stunning. But I just wish these worked better as actual shadows. Now maybe if you want to try and put it all over the lid, um, maybe it'll work better then. I was trying to do like a inner corner cut crease, <clears throat> but it just, it, it was not working. So I would say definitely pass on these. Unless you really, really want them, you don't need them. Also, I do want to note that this is the first time I have ever um, tried this kind of shadow from ColourPop. It, even if they release something else in the future in this type of shadow, uh, this liquid eyeshadow, I will not be purchasing. All right, up next we have the two Cream Luxe lipsticks oh my gosh now I have never tried this formula before so I was super super excited to try it I fell in love with both of the colors online and oh my gosh the packaging is so stunning it does say color pop right there and it has just stars everywhere um, it is more of a luxurious feeling lipstick than some of the other ones I have it does have a really nice way to it which makes it feel luxurious. Um, if you open this up, it also has the little stars all around the lipstick. I think that is a really cute touch. I do have What's Your Sign on my lips right now. I really, really enjoy this color. I think it is super, super stunning. It is so creamy and so lightweight. I could wear this for hours and not want to wipe my, my lips off. <laughs> so 
Um, let's go ahead and give these a swatch for you guys. So this is what's your sign. So beautiful. I love it. All right, and then this is Scorpio Moon. Now, <clears throat> Scorpio Moon is a gorgeous, gorgeous color. I thought it was gonna be too pink for me, but it really isn't once I get it on the lips. However, it does stain the lips, like really, really bad. So I'll insert a picture right here. You can see me wearing the lipstick, and then you can see after I've taken off the lipstick just how bad my lips were stained. I look like I have hot pink lips. So I will say minus that side effect, I love it. Um, so I definitely would not be wearing this if I had something important to do the next day because I don't know how long it will last. I did not test that. Um, and this was only a couple minutes. I had only put it on a couple minutes just to test it out. And uh, yeah, it stains like, like that. <laughs> So other than that minor mishap, I love both of these. Um, great, great formula. I would love to try different colors in their collection. So these are definitely a yes. All right, and last but not least, we have the Super Shock Highlighters. Now, if I'm not mistaken, Kathleen did say that this packaging is normally white, but for this collection, it is blue. I think these are so pretty. This one is on the cusp, and this one is fire. Now, first looking at fire, I thought, oh my gosh, it is going to be way too dark for my skin tone because I am more of a lighter skin tone, but that is not the case. I am able to use... <laughs> I'm sorry I am able to use both so let's give you guys a swatch I've never used this type of highlighter before and oh my gosh it feels like butter like softer than butter look at this oh that is so pretty can you see that so pretty all right so that one is on the cusp let's go ahead and swatch fire for you guys i think uh the reason fire worked for me is because i did put it on a little bit more sheer than i did on the cusp but these are definitely buildable they are just so gorgeous I would definitely purchase more of these. I think these are amazing. I love how they just make me look like I have an inner glow. Um, they were really easy to apply. I just applied it with my finger and then I kind of went over with like a brush and just tapped around the edges to make it blend a little bit better. But it's so pretty. It's so pretty. I love it so much. Okay, so <clears throat> let's do a quick recap. So we have the Zodiac palette. Huge yes, definite. Um, you should definitely pick this up. It is so stunning. You can create even just kind of like everyday looks, even with a pop of color. You can go in with the Libra, the Aquarius, and then just do a, a single shade. Or you can start with the Aquarius and kind of have this for your outer corner with a pop of color. There is just several different combinations that you can do with this. When I first looked at it, I was like, oh, how am I going to create a look with this for every day? But it's definitely there. Once you actually start playing with them, you can create anything from day, night, work, it doesn't matter. This is an all around palette and I'm super, super excited about that. The lipsticks, I highly recommend these guys. They are just so comfortable. They are so comfortable. I love them so much. Um, so these were a yes. The highlighters were a yes. The only complaint that I had was the Supernova Liquid Shadows. I would definitely skip out on these, but anything else in the collection, definitely go for it. If you have your eye on it, um, you weren't able to snag it or you haven't bought it yet, but you're thinking about it, go for it. Go for it, go for it. It is an amazing collection. I do like the way that this look turned out today. If you're interested in this makeup tutorial, um, just leave a comment down below and I will definitely do that for you guys. One more quick note. Now, if you follow me on Instagram or Snapchat, you already know what's coming. I did buy two palettes. See, two palettes. <laughs> This one is for today's giveaway. So we finally hit 600 subscribers and I'm just so ecstatic. Thank you guys so much for showing me love, watching my videos, giving me likes, leaving comments. You know, it just, it truly makes my day. This is something that I love to do every week and you know, <laughs> life is crazy. So the fact that, you know, 
the time that I get to spend doing this, somebody really watches it and loves it, it just, it, it makes my day. It makes my day every day. And I just, I love giving back to you guys. So uh, the giveaway does start today and it does end on August 20th at 11.59 p.m. Uh, Eastern Standard Time. So there are two things that you must do. The first thing is, of course, you must be subscribed to my channel. That is a requirement. If I go to your channel and I click on channels, um, I will need to see that you are subscribed to me. That is a must. The second thing that you guys have to do is leave a comment down below. Let me know which one is your favorite video or favorite series that I do. Um, that way I can get a little bit of insight back from you guys. And please do me a favor, do not leave more than one comment. Um, I just wanna be able to choose the winner from the comments. So everybody just leave one comment. I would really appreciate that. Um, so that is it guys, that is it for this review. I hope you find this helpful. Um, if you did like it, please give it a big old thumbs up for me. Um, good luck to everybody who enters the giveaway and I will see you on my next video. Bye.